All right, folks, in this video, we're going to talk about all the different ways you can add hard drives to your HP Envy computer. You may actually be uh, aggravated with this thing thinking, ah, I only got one drive, can't get no more space in it, but uh, there's a lot of options uh, that you can do with this thing to add storage to it. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, and you'll notice I actually my uh, DVD player covers popped off uh, pretty much keep it off because I keep opening this thing up but um, just be careful when you're taking the the front cover off here in a bit that you don't uh, break yours off now um, you don't want anything plugged into the USB so we're gonna take that out then uh, I'm gonna go around here to the back alright so on the back we want to unplug the power we want to electrocute ourselves now, um, you'll see I have a uh, USB, um, not USB, I have a hard drive uh, just kind of floating in space there, but uh, you know, normally you will uh, secure those. So um, let's uh, pop off the top here. So to do that, um, I'm going to lean it forward. Excuse me. We're going to push it backwards on the, off the table and then unclip these guys. And you want to be careful with this little cable down here. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, I've talked about that, but uh, when you're putting it back on, you don't want to pinch it. So we're going to push that forward a little bit and then put the computer back on the table and then pop this thing forward. Okay, so now we've got a good view of this. All right, so your best location for uh, storage, um, and when I say that, I mean for the speediest um, storage drive is going to be one of these NVMe M.2 solid state drives, right? So, uh, a lot of drives will work uh, pretty easy with a fresh installation of Windows. Um, I can tell you offhand, the Western Digital uh, Black 256 gig model I have there, which is uh, probably about 75 bucks, uh, that one works incredible as a um, boot, dri or boot uh, drive with uh, Windows installed. Uh, other ones, HP has a EX900, EX920, EX950, the higher the number, um, a lot of times means it's faster and it uh, will probably have more storage on it as well. Uh, I think the 950 start uh, might start with at least uh, half a terabyte. All right, so this is uh, probably the best spot, right? You could also probably plug in M2 SATA. Now you might currently have one of these guys here and there. This is your Intel Optane memory. Um, if you put this in, you really honestly don't need this, okay? This is not that helpful. Um, and you could possibly have used that if you had a second uh, M2 slot on the motherboard. All right, so uh, other places to add additional solid state drives um, would be over here. Now, I don't have this one in correctly, but uh, let's just pop this out of here so you can see it. I'm trying to find a uh, screw so I can put this in right. Alright, so this is a uh, PCI Express, uh, I think it's the 4-inch version or whatever they call it. You can put another solid-state drive on here. I tried actually putting the Intel Optane memory in this spot and uh, didn't get it to recognize it, but it does recognize this uh, drive. And uh, of course, if I put a screw in there, um, this will be bolted down nice and tight. But uh, yeah, I gotta find the screw. Um, but that goes here in this slot right next to your video card. Now, between these two, um, this is probably your best place for later uh, adding more space. That way you don't have to mess with your operating system. Let's say you put it on there. All right. Um, so 
you know you can go small here and eventually uh, get a bigger drive but it'll be easier to transfer uh, files uh, off of this one uh, later a lot easier than it is when it's your operating system because um, then you have to start over with a uh, fresh install or a disk clone a um, bunch of different things you can do now other options that we have okay um, you could put one of these solid state drives in uh, these are uh, much slower than that guy is um, so these you could use this as your boot disk you can use it as a uh, storage drive um, obviously these come you know anywhere from uh, shit 32 gigs all the way up to I think two terabytes these days um, so, so this one is actually 120 gigs I believe but uh, you can get these for $19.99 some of them uh, $17.50 I got one over here uh, this brand which I don't recommend um, I got this for $17.50 has uh, good read times but terrible write uh, speed so not very impressive but this is uh, another device that you could install in here now um, obviously you've got your uh, your big fat you may have had one of these in here this is your uh, Seagate Barracuda one terabyte I believe this is actually what ships with these um, this if you're gonna use this by itself it would be good to keep the Intel Optane memory as long as you know how to set that up properly if it's not set up properly then uh, you have that thing sitting in there and you're not even using it so um, you have to know how to use those now what I wanted to get into so we talked about three and a half inch drive which I just showed and right here is a two and a half inch drive and um, what you don't see though when you get these is you only see two SATA cables okay and then the other bummer is you only have um, this PCI Express power here or SATA power sorry and then uh, over here you've got this one that's for your uh, DVD player now that presents a problem that's where you need to buy a cable like this and I'll have the link down below um, and we'll show how to do this here in a second but uh, you will plug this in to that cable and then we'll have additional hard drive room so let me put the cell phone down alright so I snapped in the end of the power the SATA power that came from the motherboard into that and now I have I have four places I can plug drives in so let me do alright so um, added basically additional drive I still have two slots now um, the thing that really is hokey about this computer is that you have extra SATAs in here there's two SATAs right there that are empty so if we find a uh, SATA cable we can take advantage of that alright so here's a uh, extra SATA 3 cable that I found and basically we're gonna go in and plug this in down here and you wanna um, see how that's gonna L shape make sure you put that in right um, probably a good thing to check beforehand now we want to put this over on our um, hard drive and let me um, secure this camera okay so hopefully we'll be able to catch this on video we'll come in and I think I have that backwards okay so now we have two drives in here alright so now I can shove that in there, at least temporarily, until I really figure out what I want to do with this setup. Then in reverse order, um, oh, let me put let me put this guy back, even though I didn't, I still haven't found the screw for it. I'll put that in there. That guy's gonna snap in place. Okay, so that snapped in place. Then this comes back, and we have to be careful all these cables in here. So 
So this is just temporary, folks. We're not going to leave this mess like this. Definitely not a good idea to leave it like that. Okay, so then we have to rotate the computer backwards, put our front cover back on, and there she's in place. And now we're going to fire it up and uh, see if we have our uh, drives are recognized. Oh, sorry. First, we got to plug it back in and plug the power back in. Plugging the power back in. So, power's back in. Now, let's fire it back. And, alright, so I'm going to plug the mouse back in. Turn on the monitor. Alright, so boot it up. And let's just go in here and see. We have a bunch of drives, okay? So there's our, uh, our Western Digital. And um, this would be the solid state that I added. Um, this is the two and a half inch, um, two and a half inch uh, mechanical hard drive that was in there, excuse me. And then this is the additional um, SSD. This is a Pioneer M2. M.2 NVMe plugged into our PCI uh, 4 spot. So you can see all of the different um, all the different drives that you're able to connect to this thing. And though in the beginning it might seem kind of frustrating that you you know maybe you don't have enough storage room or you don't have ideas for uh, storage. You could see that um, we can add at least two more drives here. So we'd have, you know, if you don't include the uh, DVD player, you could have up to six um, drives, combination of mechanical and um, solid state. So that's, uh, that's all I want to talk about in this video. Hope you got something out of it. 